For people in Roswell, though, it was too much rain. They've been dealing with flooded homes, roads that turned into rivers, and vehicles stuck in the mud. KOAT's Mike Springer was the only reporter to see it all from the air and on the ground. Tonight, he shows us the recovery. Across New Mexico, this weekend's rain has been a sight for sore eyes. It was well needed. It looked pretty dry. But a burst of torrential rain brought too much of a good thing to Roswell. The city set a single day rainfall record with more than four inches. It was enough to cause damaging floods. We don't want to see it all at once like we did see, but the good news is that we're getting some moisture. Cars and trucks became stranded on flooded roads, stuck in the muddy mess. Homes filled with water and backyards looked like small lakes. And it caused chaos at a cemetery. Some graves sank in as much as three feet under the heavy rains. We just came to make sure that didn't fall in anymore. It also forced a lot of people to change their plans for the long holiday weekend. We were going to go out to the lake, but we ended up having to cancel because it started raining a little bit too bad. You can see from Sky 7, things start to dry up by Sunday. Much of the flood water had receded, though there was still a good amount of standing water and a lot of messy, muddy fields. Despite all the rain and wet weather we've seen here in Roswell over the past 24 hours, it wasn't enough to keep people from coming out and enjoying Roswell's world famous UFO museum and research center. Refusing to let Mother Nature ruin their weekend plans, families came to snap photos of aliens and spaceships. I don't think it had any impact at all. We did a little over 800 people yesterday. Reporting in Roswell, Mike Springer, KOAT. Action 7 News. So, exactly just how much rain did we see in Roswell and around New Mexico? Let's go to first alert meteorologist Eric.